turned 14 and I was up there in Appalachia. I immediately fell in love with the work of Dante Apples. When I turned 23, I decided to head westward to Scarborough. I traveled by foot to Pennsylvania where I came to the town of Ward. Well, it wasn't really a real town, it was one cabin with a lantern on the road. He told me of the rules for cleaning the land. I had to pay for it one thing and I had to build the cabin on it for another. It was, there were many other rules too. It was also a big I still wanted to start my apple orchard business, so I decided to become a squatter. That is, I decided to plant more orchards on other people's land, with their permission, of course. The farmers would let me grow up apple trees on their land and trade for fresh apples. During the spring and summer months, I would visit neighbors to sell my, to sell my apple seeds and tree samples and help them build their own apple orchards. Over the next few years, Pennsylvania Pennsylvania really grew population, so I decided it was time to move on. I packed up my horse and traveled across the border to Ohio. When the settlers started to arrive, they saw how they saw how well the orchards did and would build their homes close by and start their own crops. I traveled all over the state of Ohio planting orchards as I went. The government saw how the settlers were staying, how the settlers were staying to clean the land and decided to make their own. The law stated that to own that to own that to own land and build a home, you had to plant an apple orchard. Over the years, I continued to travel place to place, town to town, meeting people and making friends with the settlers and Native Americans and their productions. So, as you can tell, I lived my life and what I loved. It was a good life, and I've been happy to share it with you.